Hi guys, this is Colin and welcome back to the channel. I hope you have a great week. Today I'm uh, bringing you a gameplay from uh, the test servers on 0.5.8 and uh, this is the new Bastion game mode. General quarters. And uh, the first thing you will notice on this Atlantic map is there it is no ABC cap zones it's instead are one two three and uh, so far it looks pretty normal but soon you will see some bastions pop up now you can see one in zone two and one in zone three it's a fort and a surveillance station and you have one fort and one surveillance station in each zone. And the surveillance station works like uh, so. If you ca capture that zone for the team and you own that zone, that surveillance station will broaden out uh, the detection range around that zone. So it will detect any ship that closes in on that zone for the team and the fort it will open up and engage enemy ships coming close to that fort and uh, I'm not really sure about the engagement uh, range on these forts yet but, uh, you will see later in the game I am uh, just below 10k away from the fort when it starts opening up on me. You could see here that we just shot and killed the fort. Pretty much we depleted its health, but uh, this doesn't mean that uh, that uh, fort is out of the game. It uh, will just be temporarily disabled. So in about a minute or so, that fort will have uh, regained all its health again and will start working for that team that is only in that cap zone. So now when uh, this uh, enemy team takes this zone, that surveillance station will start to detect we who sail too close to that zone. But it's really really important for us that is trying to work in this area to try and disable that station as soon as possible. And I can tell you by experience it's not that easy to uh, take out these uh, surveillance stations. And uh, please don't judge my gameplay <laughs> this match because uh, I wasn't really focused on the match. I was pretty much just uh, derping around and trying to understand these new great editions in this update. So I'm just looking at this fort and as you can see it is starting to regenerate its health and uh, as soon as it has uh, full health it will start to engage enemy ships that sail too close. And. Uh, me personally, I think uh, this is a really fun and great addition that the Wargaming has uh, thought of in this game mode. Uh, it makes it uh, a little bit more tactical in some ways, I think, that uh, you won't only uh, sail around firing on other ships. You will also need to take out installations. Gun crews now I'm getting alert. really focused by the enemy carrier because I am pretty much just perfect around in this area by myself because I want to check out these uh, installations. So it will be even more uh, important for the team to go for caps in the future because the caps won't be only generate tickets for the team they will also give the team 
some extra Anti intelligence by detecting the enemy team and uh, also uh, some fire support. So I can think it's uh, really good for destroyers, for instance, to use uh, these uh, forts and also the surveillance stations in the cap zones. Make them cap and uh, engage the enemy ships while you can pretty much uh, play your ninja role. So there you see we uh, took down that fort and as you can see I went a bit close, I was 10k away and it started to engage me. And uh, I think that the accuracy was uh, pretty decent actually. In this uh, range uh, the fort hit me I think one or two times. So it's definitely definitely not uh, a place you want to sail too close to when it's uh, up and running and uh, working for the enemy. Especially if you are in a destroyer. Now I'm not really sure uh, yet since uh, this was the only match I got to try in this uh, Bastinion game mode. If it was uh, possible to hide from either the surveillance station or the fort by popping smoke. But uh, I will guess that uh, you can hide from both in smoke. But uh, I'm not really 100% sure, so please don't quote me on this. Uh, one other fun thing about this on the map is that uh, if you play as a carrier captain you can also go in and bomb these installations with, with your bomber squadrons. So, uh, that's pretty neat as well. You can pretty much coordinate an attack on a zone so the carrier captain can pretty much go in and disable the surveillance and then the, enemy, uh, the ships go in and capture the zone and take out the port. So it opens up uh, for new cool kind of play, play, play styles and uh, tactics. And uh, I wasn't really uh, watching who took out that fort but uh, I think it should have a uh, effect on the ticket count as well, but I'm not 100% uh, sure. I will Copy check this out as soon as I get this game mode again. But I think that it should somehow affect that uh, ticket count if you disable the stations or not. And uh, if you guys uh, haven't uh, tried the test server yet, I would really love to take this chance to recommend you guys checking that out because uh, it's uh, pretty much all goodies and no work. It's a win-win situation. All you need to do is uh, go into Wargaming's uh, website and uh, sign in the test server. Uh, you download a small client able to uh, play the test servers and uh, then you will pretty much be given a whole lot of doubloons and credits and you get 15 point captains in each uh, nation so uh, you can pretty much uh, and the grind in the test servers is uh, no grind at all pretty much. I mean I think you start at the tier 4 or tier 5 uh, with the ships and uh, if you would like to uh, grind to and uh, uh, try out a tier 10 ship you pretty much need to play maybe 10 games in that uh, tree to unlock the tier 10 ship and I mean that's nothing. So, if you ever wanted to try, let's say, a Yamato, a Shimikaze, a Kabarovsk, my favorite ship, uh, gearing, uh, whatever, 
you can uh, have that chance now. And uh, the test servers went live today, Tuesday, and I think they will be up until the 4th of July, if I'm not mistaken. So you have uh, pretty much a week, almost, that you can just test and try all those chips that you always wanted to try. So uh, don't wait. Download the test server client and go in and uh, please also take the opportunity to give the uh, Wargaming feedback on these updates and all the uh, new features of the game. It really helps uh, for Wargaming to uh, try and do this as uh, best as, as uh, they can for us uh, players, which is really great. And uh, as I said before, I mean, it's just a great opportunity to try any ship in the game that you always wanted to try. Because sometimes, you know, you're trying to grind towards a uh, tier 10 ship in the regular game. And it's a real tough grind and it will take you maybe some weeks or a month. And you want to know that the ship you're grinding towards is that great ship that you always uh, thought, well, now it's your opportunity to just go in, play 10 or 12 games and you have that ship. You can sail that ship as much as you want for the next couple of 5 or 6 days. So, uh, what's to lose? And also, there are some specific uh, missions you can do while you are playing on the test server. So you can uh, earn, I think, uh, some flags, of course, and uh, I think uh, also some uh, free uh, premium account base. So, uh, it's all good. It's a great, great way for... Uh, Wargaming to include us players in the development of the game, I think. So it looks like we have uh, done pretty well as a team, even though uh, we didn't own uh, the majority of the caps this time. You can also notice the new uh, ribbons, what you call it, on the right side when you have uh, hits on targets and you will also get uh, if you have penetration or bounces and you can see up in the top right corner the new uh, also like ribbons for everything you do. Uh, fire sets and uh, kill chips and uh, the black one is uh, citadels and uh, well I'm uh, a bit uh, I'm not really sure about what I think about these I mean I think they are probably really modern and cool and uh, I think they maybe hired some uh, design students or something to make these uh, new ones, but uh, I'm not really sure. I think uh, the old ones were way better and uh, it was pretty clear what uh, you were doing with the ship. Maybe though, just keep those, uh, those new ones that uh, pops up just uh, above the minimap. Where you can see if you have penetrations, overpens or uh, Bounces on the enemy ships, pretty much. You can see me checking out the new ones up there right now. So that is a perfect uh, thing also to do when you are on the test server. Just check out uh, these new features and give Wargaming your feedback. Because uh, just because uh, they are in this test server client, doesn't may, uh, mean that uh, they will make it into the full game when the update is released. So, so uh, this is uh, pretty much a perfect time for you guys to be able to affect the game. 
So that was the match. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one, guys. I see you later.